We're live. How's it going, everybody? Is anybody out there? Just not if you can hear me. There'll be no more. Ah, is there anyone home? What's up, everybody? We got a real banger. Nobody chatting today. Let me know you're here. Let me know who's here. We're streaming live on Facebook and Twitch, and YouTube, of course. There we go, what's up, Obsessed Collector? Big boy, hello, hello, hello. Pile on in, guys, we got another one today. A lot like yesterday, a lot like yesterday's. But today, you know, we're just gonna have to get something spectacular, like thumbnail worthy. Oh, Jeff, I didn't even, I haven't checked my email today. No, nothing was super high end. I haven't been able to get anything off of Target. Like I woke up early one morning and uh, like 6 a.m. or something to just check it out. And of course it was the day they didn't drop anything. But yeah, dude, I definitely appreciate that. And uh, if I get to it, that's great. But if I can't, you know, oh well. But the shout outs are very appreciated. What are we doing today? I'll tell you. We lower the volume of this. The music, a little out of control. We're doing some more Stadium Club. A couple boxes of this. One, two. We got an upside down Yelich to deal with. Fits in the screen nicely. Should we just hold those there? Should we just get them soaking? Maybe we just get them soaking. Maybe. Most products are still available right now. Series 2 hangers and blasters. Really? I have to check that out. You know, I haven't gotten to this, to the value series yet. I probably won't even do it. It's just, it's such a good value across the board. And the, the prices are cheap enough that I don't know how good of a value the blasters and hangers are. Let me see here. Looking for, oh, there you go, Jeff. Target dropping right now. Let me hit that link. Not seeing anything. Not seeing anything good. Oh well, I'll check it out afterwards. So, we got the Stadium Club going on today. Thomas said, saw the series two hangers. We're two packs, okay. You can buy 20 series two hangers from Target right now for 200 bucks. 10 of the two packs. I'll check it out after the stream. Cause there's a lot of good deals to be had on series two stuff. So I just, before I make that decision, I gotta, do a little investigating. But that sounds like a unpassable, you, like you can't pass that deal up. We're also gonna do the select today, guys. We're the same kind of thing we did yesterday. This is the last regular select box that I have. It seems to be pretty good though. I'm, I was impressed with our box yesterday. You know, of course we got the tie dye out of there. So I was a little biased of that, but we got this too, the FOTL. We're looking for a real banger out of here. We haven't gotten a crazy, crazy one yet. I'm talking 101 today, boys and girls, and slammers, and hitters. Let's go. We're gonna do this. We got this series two, little hobby box action. That's the only thing different from yesterday's. And we've got a blaster, 2021 Bowman blaster. Looking for some firsts, looking to spread those teams around. I like the spread. I like the spread that the, this, this combo provides. So I'm digging it. What's up, 357 Redskins fan? Dropped a ton of cards. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see about that after the stream. But I got a lot of work to do today outside yet. So we're gonna get this show on the road. 
But before that, slap that like. Let's get it rolling. Also, I'll let you know at some point here, once we get a few more people in, I'll let you know what we're doing tomorrow. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a good one tomorrow. You're gonna want to get involved. It's gonna be some of the some of my favorite products, some of my favorite stuff. It's gonna be a little on the high end, so just beware. Be ready. Oh, Otani no hitter tonight. I don't think so, my friend. I was thinking about stacking up actually the Yankees as a contrarian stack, only because I can share this screen with you. Let's talk just for a minute about baseball. Come on over here with me, guys. So this is what we're looking at. In Philly, it's 95 degrees with 45% humidity. Wind is blowing out. We got Nola on the mound. He's going to shut him down. He's a minus 234 favorite. So he should shut the Marlins down for the most part. Jordan Holloway, I, I can't imagine he's going to hold the Phillies back, but you never know. Here's, here's what I, I don't think Otani's going to go no-no tonight. 92 degrees with a 10 mile per hour wind blowing out at Yankee Stadium. Guys, LeMahieu, Voigt, Gary, Stanton, Torres, Odor, and Duhar, they're not going to hold it. He's not going to no hit the Yankees. It's possible. Anything's possible, but it's a 10 run total. Like, if this was, if this total was like seven, I'd be, whoa, like, what's going on here? But there's no way with the temperature in the park. Like, it just, you run into something, usually. You can't say no way. I mean, there's big totals across the board. Other than this game, I mean, it's eight. We got 10 here, 10 and a half over here. We got an 11-run total here in Boston. Holy, are you kidding me? There's going to be some fireworks today. I just hope it's on the Boston side because that's my team. And then a minuscule 7.5 runs. Why? Why so low? I don't know, a couple scrubs on the mound. Seems like it should be a little higher than that, but I guess we'll see. Big game in the, I mean, 10 runs here, but we got Musgrove on the mound, still 10 runs. It's looking like the Padres are going to do some damage, 81 degrees, if there's a game. And then even in Atlanta, man, it's 83 in Atlanta, pretty humid, nine run total. We got nine and a half runs here with Luis Garcia, who's been crushing it. Look at this number, minus 309. Yeah, the Astros should win today. They're giving you a, you know, bet $309 to win 100. So, and then Dylan Cease in Chicago against some scrub. Allard, Bassett, low run, low run total here. So, just a little brief overview of the slate today. We'll see what I, what I am inevitably right about and wrong about because it's not going to be perfect. Stash, what's up, my man? Bill Hook emoji, I love it. Love it. Otani gonna carve up the Yankees. I mean, he should, but dude, that run total tells me that he ain't, he's not going to carve them up per se. Like he might get his strikeouts, but to me, in my mind, how I envision it going down is like maybe maybe he lasts five innings and he'll get some strikeouts. But I think the Yankees are gonna put a, a bat on his ball a couple times. That's just me. We'll see what happens. But on the other side, you know, it's it's Herman versus Otani. The weather and the ballpark are too delicious tonight for either of those pitchers to do any. Because, like, a pop-up is going to be a home run tonight. So if Otani even allows a couple pop-ups, you never know what's going to happen. Wind blowing out 10 miles per hour, 92 degrees. Quite a bit of humidity. I don't know, guys. All right, let's roll the die. Have you pulled any jazz cards? Not tonight, but we will. We will. Ready? Three randomizations. Let's go. All right, let me find my sheet. I didn't pull up my sheet yet. Or I did have it up, but then I just went over top of it with Stadium Club Mixer number two. Here we are. Come on over, guys. Okay, we're going to get these out of A to Z. Strikerbreaks.com. Go subscribe. It's free. Going to get one random, three on the team list. Uh, there's one, uh, there's two, uh, there's three. The Reds, the Reds on top of the world and three times on the teams. Are you ready? One, two, three. Josh, Josh, you didn't provide your last name in the buy-in, but you're the only Josh, so that's okay. 
I'll, I'll get your cards to you, no problem, man. <laughs> Straight up Josh with the reds. We are sorting them and reading them off. Let me lower the volume just a little bit more so everybody can hear. Diamondbacks, David D, Braves, Jack H, Orioles, Spencer L, Red Sox, Jack H, Cubs, Brian T, White Sox, Skyler M, Reds, Josh, Indians, Scott A, Rockies, Matthew D, Tigers, Amanda F, Astros, David L, Royals, John C, Angels, Crystal L, Dodgers, Devin M, Marlins, Taylor T, Brewers, Nicholas R, Twins, Taylor T, Mets, Frederick C, Yankees, Skyler M, At Athletics, Michael R, Phillies, Christopher K, Pirates, Mitch S, Padres, Thomas M, Giants, Matthew B, Mariners, Scott A, Cardinals, Jacob T, Rays, Adam M. We got the Rangers with Edward O, the Blue Jays, Sean D, and the Nationals, Thomas M. Good luck, everybody. Let me drop you a little link, link. And we can go, go. There it is. Josh Kelly, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I just, it's, I could have done like, you know, two minutes of work and figured it out, but I'll just do it post. All right, what am I doing? Got to do a print. And we're done. What's up? I just became a member. Excellent. Appreciate that. Let's go. Shout out to Nick. Your PayPal didn't enter your entire name. I don't know, man. Don't know what happened, but it's no biggie. No biggie. Because inevitably, it just it would print a play. You know, I'd go to print a PayPal label, and it would just print everything off. So. Not a problem. How much is a select blaster box? I don't know. I didn't even know they had select blaster blasters. But it's probably around the same price, you know, 25 bucks, something like that, if they have them. I like the four guaranteed hits out of the hobby, though. And the FOTL is just crazy fire. Let's do the Celic Sweep, shall we? Back to back. Golds to 50. Should I should I get rid of Trevor Claus after after what just came out? What do you guys think? Should I retire Trevor Claus? Clayton's like, yeah, get him out of here. All you need is me. Throw him into a burning fire with someone else. Would you rather get a Heritage Blaster or an Absolute Blaster? Wow. If you get an Absolute Blaster, you're much more likely to get a hit, like an autograph or something like that. So, and Heritage is pretty low end as well. Although, Heritage this year is quite nice. It's got a really nice checklist. Overall, a good looking product. I do like Heritage, so. It's just kind of pick your poison. Would you rather have an unlicensed hit or a licensed no hit probably. And if you do get a hit, it's probably gonna be low end. Look at that, Vladdy. See here, I really wish they would have put these into packs, man, because like there's a little bit, of, there's a little line. And I noticed yesterday in one of the, when I was packing them all up in one of the top loaders, I didn't see it, but in the right light, there's like a little mark. It's not like these are worth a ton of money anyway, if that's what you're all about, but it would be nice if they were in a pack. Like, how much would a pack possibly cost? Like, just a blank pack, you know? Empty pack. One cent? Maybe? Maybe a cent? Maybe, like, a tenth of a cent? I don't know. Can't be that much. To protect that beautiful work of art, you know? Because I consider this stuff work of, works of art. 
Jeff, what do you think about Stadium Club? Is that one of your favorites because you appreciate photography? I know almost everybody I talk to loves Stadium Club. Because, I mean, it, kinda, it just checks all the boxes, man. It's cheap. It's affordable. You got your guaranteed autos, two guaranteed on-card autos, plus a nice little box topper, beautiful photography. Um, you get parallels in there. I mean, I don't know how, how do you beat it. Casey Mize, the Jita. Oh, wow. Johnny Bench. Look at all those balloons. I wish they were all red, and then he could have been Pennywise. If all those balloons were red, how creepy would that photo be? Am I right? And then Jacoby Jones. I like that. Here's our auto. Ali Sanchez. Bunch of no-names so far. I mean, not no-name, no-names, but... We haven't really got a banger auto yet, which is to be expected when you get when you get some legit like two two autos for 120 bucks. That one's going to the Mets. Who's got the Mets today? Frederick. Congratulations, Frederick. You're on the board. You're leading the way. You're a trailblazer. You got a series two. Holy Nick, you got a SSP mantle. Oh, wow. Wow. Madrigal, we didn't see him yesterday. I, I, I like that photo as well. I, there's not many that I don't out of here. They're just glorious. Soto, as usual, legendary photo. Legendary photo of Soto. And a black Clayton. A lot of low-end autos. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing so far, Redskins fan. But, man, is this a glorious product for breaks. You can add a box of this stuff in and get your two guaranteed hits. And it costs hardly nothing. What was it, like, four bucks a person? It's nothing. And then you can, you know, you can mix in some high-end stuff. Like, we'll start mixing in. I don't have any more of this. Do I, mean, do I have one more box? I have one more box of this, but we're going to start mixing it up a little bit. So starting tomorrow, oh, we got a bunch of people in here now. If you guys don't mind, please hit that like button for me. Let's spread the love. Spread the love a little bit. Something you can do for free that helps me out a lot. Lazardo red. But anyway, I'll tell you what we're doing tomorrow now. We are going to be doing some 2019 Bowman, 2019 Series 2, and a little bit of spreading out from there. So if you know your cards, you know that 2019 Bowman has Wander First. You can get the Wander First Chrome cards, uh, base cards, the inserts, and the on-card Chrome Autos. And it's got tons of other players, too. It's not just Wander. There's a bunch of high-end guys in there. And then, of course, the 2019 Series 2. We're going to do a hobby box of that. We're going to get a guarantee, not a guarantee, almost a guaranteed Tatis out of that. So you can, if, if you haven't gotten a Tatis rookie, if you're behind the eight ball, tomorrow's your chance to get one. Trevor Story Red. Also, the Vladdy No Number. We're looking to pull a Vladdy No Number. Those are about one out of every two boxes. So that's not a guarantee. Pete, Eloy, and man, maybe we get up, maybe we pop off and get a gold Tatis or something. I still haven't pulled one of those, but man, do I want to see one one of these days. One of these days, I'm gonna open one for you guys or myself. I'm just gonna keep hitting the 2019 series too while it's somewhat affordable. Like before we know it, it's gonna be out of the realm of affordability. It's not quite there yet. It's getting there. Looks like we got a chrome coming up. There it is. Oh, nice. Look at that, Bryce. It's a nice Bryce. Chrome, chromage, going to Philly. Christopher. Man, that looks sharp. And then a Voight. I really wanted to play Luke Voigt tonight in 
DFS. He was so cheap on FanDuel. I think it was 2,500 bucks on FanDuel, batting second. Oh, juicy, juicy. I don't care who's on the mound, man. Except for maybe DeGrom. If it was DeGrom, I probably wouldn't do it. But yeah, Otani's great. But like, like I said, anybody can pop out tonight and or like a usual pop out and ends up being a home run. There he is, Shohei. Wouldn't that be funny if he was taking off his hat to get the sticky stuff on there? Yeah, and that Brooks, I know that price is crazy. I love it. How much is a base Tatis rookie worth? You'll have to go look it up, man, because they change by the day. They fluctuate all the time. But look up a PSA 10 Series 2. I, I would have to think around 300 bucks. Somewhere around 3, 350, 270, 290. I don't really know. It changes all the time. Around 300, I'd have to think. But, dude, like that stuff can, his card could go from like 300 to 600 in a couple of days if he has a few good days, you know. People are, people are, they hop on bandwagons. Even though his bandwagon has already like pulled up and they were like, all aboard Tati's bandwagon. Everybody had their chance. Hop on. There's still plenty of time. Superstar duos. Look at this. That is pretty cool. Freddie Freeman. I don't think I've seen this insert yet. Freddie Freeman and Acuna. That's a nasty card. You heard position players are helping pitchers out since they don't get sticky stuff. Ooh. Like going around the horn and they, they do a little tap the ball for the pitcher, get a little stick on there. That's a great idea. There's always going to be ways to cheat. Always. And people are always going to cheat. It's just a matter of um, being proactive. If you told me that every World Series championship team in the history of baseball somehow cheated, I'd be like, yeah, I bet they did. Maybe just a tiny little way, right? Just, just like something real little that doesn't really matter that much. Like stealing signs, but then it just gets progressively worse and worse. Florial. Chris Sale coming back somewhat soon. Anything, man. It's There's stuff that you can't even think of. There's stuff that we've never even thought of that they've done. Yeah, that, yeah the catchers could have a little stick on it. The umpires could be bought and paid for. You, you name it, it could happen. I'm not saying it does. I'm just saying it wouldn't surprise me anymore. After all of, like, nothing really surprises me anymore. Tatis VR. Shout out to all my slammers. All my hitters. Ooh, look at this. Nolan Ryan. We got the red. Very good. <laughs> look at this guy. He's standing out there. Like, he's not even ready. He's not even in the ready position. He's like, Nolan's on the mound. I don't need to get ready. He's just standing there. Like, daydreaming. Lollygagging. He's like, I don't even need to, like, be in the ready position. That's one of the funniest things about going to a baseball game is you can actually see all the players getting into the ready position at the exact same time. It's, it's kind of it's kind of odd. It, like, they all have the same movement, and then they get down, and like, ready, you know? Like, it's when the pitcher's doing, like, a certain wind-up. Like, the the infielders, mostly, all are kind of, like, doing the same thing and get down. It's like a synchronized, synchronized swimming or something. Richard Bowman's so expensive because it's got the player's first cards, and they're just, that's the most desirable. It's the hierarchy of desirability. The Bowman first card is on the very top. So they're going to be more expensive. Also, it includes chrome cards and lots of autographs. So chrome cards are always more expensive. And there's this perceived value in the first. So they're going to chalk it up a little bit. 
triumvirate. Did I get it? Such a silly word. I looked this word up and it means it was like a form of government when three, it was in, I think Roman, the Romans did it. And it was like three heads, like high end politicians were the ones that are in charge of the government. So are there threes with this? Or is it just a word, like a fancy word that they want to use because they think they're smart or something? Tim, what's happening? Stash says it's hypnotic. I know, it is hypnotic. That's one of the best parts about going to the game. One of like a thousand different awesome things. But just seeing them all like get ready at the same time. Because they wait till the last possible second. It almost looks like they're not going to get ready, and then just boom, they're all, they're all on guard. There he is. What a reject. If if anything's true, but like who knows? So we can't judge a man. But what a knucklehead! Like the his lawyer basically admitted he did it. I don't even want to talk about it because it's not appropriate. If there's any kids watching. But what he did is so stupid. Any but with this day and age, like what the, the kind of things that go on, if you were even presented, like when he got a text message from that girl saying that stuff, he should have blocked her immediately and never talked to her again. What was he thinking? You don't, res first of all, you don't even, don't even respond. Second of all, like maybe like call your lawyer immediately and be like, dude, this, this chick is... She's cray cray. Third of all, like you're a grown man, maybe it's time to get married and settle down, have some kids. And then you don't run into those situations. So I lost a lot of respect for him. He used to be one of my favorite players. And now it's like, are you, are you just, I thought he was smart. He comes across as like a pretty smart, well-spoken dude. Not now, I, now I think he's just stupid. And I don't respect him hardly at all. I, I don't know if I respect him at all anymore, honestly. That's, that's saying a lot, you guys know I liked him. And it's not because of, it's not because of like what you think. It's because he shouldn't have even put himself in that situation. Ryan Jeffers, autograph for Minnesota, Taylor. Yeah, accusations, but his lawyer admitted it. Did you read the lawyer, the lawyer's statement? His lawyer was like, she asked for it and he obliged. Like, what? Just because you ask for it doesn't mean you... Oh, look at this. What is this? A little Ricky? Oh, it's just an insert. Okay. So, you know how when you go... You know how when you see like a fight getting ready to break out and someone's like, come on, hit me, hit me. That doesn't mean you can just hit them. Everybody knows that, right? Like, hit me, hit me. You can't just do that. No matter what, you can't. You're going to get in trouble if you hit them. I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> Diego, I'm talking about Trevor Bauer. He got himself into a real stupid situation. But we can look at it from a different perspective, too. Um, the perspective of, sorry, these cards are like stuck together, man. The perspective that like if you don't live in California or New York, you may or may not, not have the feeling that like these big market teams can just buy whoever they want and like buy championships. And especially like, you know, LA's just got billionaire, multi-billionaire owners who can just afford anything they want. So they, they can just sign Bauer for 40 million a year. Who cares, right? And same, the Yankees not so much anymore, but the Yankees used to do that all the time. They just, eh, A-Rod, we'll just get whoever we want and we'll win. And a lot of teams resent that. So maybe it's like we got the Cole thing going on. And here's a black Elvis Andrus. We got the Cole thing going on where he forgot how to pitch. 
because he doesn't get to use sticky stuff allegedly anymore, who knows. And then second of all, we've got this Bauer situation. So it's like both of these, this East Coast and West Coast teams that people like to hate, um, they're kind of getting their just, just desserts maybe. I, I don't know. I'm just saying that's some people think of it that way, you know. Lindor, like, okay, you're going to sign these big $40 million contracts. You better be sure that you got yourself what you think you got. You know, like, huh, his spin rate when he went to the Astros went up so much that it can't possibly be real. But we're going to sign him anyway. All right. Yeah. Hopefully. Good, good luck with you. Good luck to you. I was, I was a big Bauer fan. And l listen, like I said, to start it off. We don't know what happened, but Trevor's lawyer came out with a statement uh, basically being like, yeah, she asked for it and he obliged. And we got the texts that prove it. And it's like, what? That's the worst defense I've ever heard. She asked for it. When has that ever worked? In the history of anything, she asked for it. That's never worked. In fact, that's incriminating. It would have been much better if if uh, the lawyer would have came out and just been like, "We don't what? This is nonsense." But there's probably just way too much evidence. It's just it's probably loaded with evidence of text messages and stuff. Which, once again, Bauer, what are you doing, dude? Why are you texting this crazy person? That's a sick card. I like that. Ken Griffey Jr., the red. We're, we've gotten a lot of cards out of this box that I haven't even seen. It's a big checklist, though, so you're bound to, to keep seeing new cards. All right, let's try this. Horse face. Is she a horse? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care what she has to say. Don't care at all. Never trusted her. Never once. You've never heard me say her name for a reason. Don't trust her. But why? I don't know. Gut feeling. I go with my gut on a lot. I think, mo I think everybody should go with their gut more. Because I think your gut is your conscience. And your conscience is your sub, is, that sounds counterintuitive, but your conscience is your subconscious. Conscious. Your conscience is your subconscious. <laughs> you get it, right? It's like all the information you've accumulated throughout your life that you don't actively think about. That's your gut. So you should go with your gut because it's smarter than your brain. What time will the break be tomorrow? Probably around the same time, Kruger. Will he just pay her off? They're talking they want him criminally charged. So, I guess we'll find out. If she got a concussion from it, which is what she's claiming, I don't know if that's true, but uh, apparently she went to the hospital and got a concussion. <laughs> he might go to jail or something for that. We're just speculating. Maybe none of it's true, right? I don't know, but we may or may not find out soon enough. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Making sure everything's good here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, I forgot to pin the links. Let's check out this hit first. Didn't hear your name. What, what you talking about, Brian? Here's a hit. Ready? Kbert Ruiz. A little swato there. Going to LA. 
Who's got the Dodgers? Devin. Yeah, but chuck wagon, man. You don't put yourself in those situations. Can't blame the female. You got to be smart enough to know. So riddle me this. Say you got a boy, friend, good friend of yours, and his girlfriend is just a psycho. And you're like, dude, why are you like, you're, you're just always talking about how crazy the girlfriend is. The crazy girlfriend did this. The crazy girlfriend did that. Whose fault is it? Because it, like, the guy is with her. So it's actually the guy's fault. I mean, there's no, we're not really like judging fault here, but it's like the guy gets at least equal blame for being with the girl. He has free will. Don't blame the girl, blame the guy. Like maybe she just is not the right fit for him, right? Pache. You can't just, same same with the, with the other way around. If you've got a woman who's in a, an abusive relationship, the guy's beating her up or something or anything, she has to look in the mirror and be like, why am I with this guy? It's, par it's partially her fault. I'm not saying it's her fault that she get hit or anything like that. No, I'm just saying like, maybe it's verbal. I'm just saying it's both people are on the hook here. So if this chick is crazy, Trevor, he needs to be the one who knows like, how can he not navigate these waters? He's rich and famous. Has he not dealt with situations like this before? Why her out of millions and millions and billions of women that you could, why her? His fault. Dean Kramer to 199. Got a little red action there. And what do we have here? Oh, Casey Mize. Red, white, and blue. Beauty. Gnarly. Loving it. Trey Turner hit for the cycle today. Sweet. Paid but didn't make the cut. Refund. Yeah, if you... you uh, Brandon, I didn't see your payment. Odds are it'll just be refunded on its own. Did you go through PayPal? If you went through PayPal and you used the like pay later thing, that'll cause problems getting into the, the breaks for some reason. But yeah, if, you'll obviously get a refund. Absolutely. The number one thing around here, guys, is just everybody, if there's ever any problems, you will be taken care of because that's the most important thing. I want everybody to have a good time. That's why I spread the teams out like I do. I want everybody to just have a good time. There's money is not the thing here. It's about community, having fun, having a good time, talking baseball, just getting together with people. That, that's what it's about. So yes, if, if you did pay and it didn't get refunded or something happened, you'll be taken care of, no problems. All right, here we go. Another hit. Are you ready? Boom! Upside down, Daz Cameron. Another little swato. What did we do? Did we do the, okay, we did the regular. I was gonna say, have not seen an FOTL hit yet. So we got two little, little swatos. That got stuck to the back. Don't wanna forget about Chris Paddock. Whoa, a little wild today. Can you check your email? Dude, I can't check it midstream, Kruger, brother. But I'll try, I'll check it afterwards. Kinda in the middle of something right now. Deep, we're deep. Unless you want me to make 114 people just, hold on, Kruger boy's got something to say. Everybody stop what you're doing. No, I'll check it afterwards though, bro. Unless there's something like crazy, I need to stop everything what I'm doing right now. Is that the case? Is there an emergency? Ozzy Albee's prism. No, we can't do Paddock Dirty. He's my boy as well. Love me some Paddock. Love. 
He's on my fantasy team as well. I picked him up off the waiver. Somebody dropped him. I couldn't believe it. I was like, yes, please. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Keep Brian. All right. That's a sweet one. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The last thick sleeve. Luckily, I've got a, about a case of them sitting behind me. Key Brian. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Kruger, I will check it out, brother. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry. I got a bunch of emails to get to, too. And if you guys email me and I don't get to it for a while, don't think it's anything because of you. It's just I get so many emails and messages. It's, it's overwhelming and crazy. You wouldn't even... Like, my phone is all day, just every, like, 10 seconds. Doodly -doo. Doodly -doo. And it's like, oh, boy. So it's it's so almost a full-time job just keeping up with emails and messages and things like that. And also, if you email me and I don't get to it in a few days, you can send it again. Because in my email address, like, so many things go into there too like business stuff so it's it could it could easily just get sent to like two pages back and i missed it david fletcher prism whoa back to back fletchers lots of napkins today out of the regular out of the regular select and that has me bumming a little bit I like the colorful ones. Dude, I have a sweet paddock button. Where is it? Mm, I don't, it's not within arm's reach, but Robert gave it to me. It says Paddock's Posse. Trey Turner, blue. To 149. Standworthy. Cycle. Standworthy. What's the big hit today? Well, we haven't gotten anything huge today yet. And you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to say I like, I've said it before, but I have more of a reason now. I like, I like BCW top loaders better than Ultra Pro. They're a little bit a little bit thicker. Like you can fit a card into them easier. Oh, that was a bucket. I thought it was gonna fly too far that way. Uh, yeah, John, that's what people are saying. I'm gonna have to check it out. I, I, I missed, I missed it so far. It's too busy, because guys, it takes me until almost up until the break to get all the cards from the previous day packed and sorted and shipped and everything. So I don't have a whole lot of time to do anything at all. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ready? Tick, tick, tick. Boom. Tyler O'Neill. Another napkin. What is going on? I, hold on. Where are the thickies? Here we go. Gotta get the thickies. Juan Soto's hobby. I don't know how much it's dropped, AK, but that would mean that it's time to buy. Allegedly. Yeah, I don't know how, how much it's dropped. I haven't kept up with it. I have... I've got some Soto rookies. I'll have to show them to you. But they're in my PC, so I don't really care. Up, down, left, right. Doesn't matter to me. I'm not selling them at this time. There's a Key Brian rookie. Is a pink Nick Turley chrome rookie worth anything? No, sir. I don't know who that is. Is he a baseball player? If he's a baseball player, then no. Cunha. That's a glory card. Concourse.
His chrome's dropped almost 200 bucks. Why? Man, that might be a prime time to buy his cards then. Oh, that's nasty. Look at this one. Phenom's Prism. That's cool. Key Brian, my boy. I think Key Brian's my boy. Every year I've got a boy. Last few years it's been, it's been Tatis. I mean, I guess you could go back. I was on the Otani train when he was a rookie. So it was Otani and then Tatis and then Bo. And I haven't, I don't have one yet this year, but I think it's Key Brian. Cause I just, something about it, I get that feeling like this guy has got what it takes. Here's a white, ooh, hot, 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 the Acuna, white. Oh, it's got a little thumbnail damage to it. That sucks. One out of 50, it's the eBay one of one too. Goodness gracious. We're still gonna top load that dog right on up. Yeah, Key Brian's been solid. Also, I like Jazz, I, I don't know. I still, there's just too many, too many likable rookies. I am all. That one didn't cut it. What do you say we dabble in some Bowman? Have I pulled a 101? Yes, Dodger Dog Gaming. I think I've pulled about probably about 10 to 12 of them in my life. Most of them are printing plates. However, I have pulled some other ones too. In my personal collection, I have two 101s. I have a Brendan Rogers rookie one of one. It's a Panini. And I have a some pitcher from Elite Extra Edition. So both Panini products. Easier to pull 101s out of that stuff for sure. New details about Bauer just came out. I bet we'll just keep hearing more and more details and if I know the media, they're not gonna be good. Because as soon as it's like pro Bauer, any pro Bauer news, they won't report on it. Maybe like one little thing here or there, but. You know how the media is. They love to stoke the hate. Vogel. Plus, Bauer's so outspoken. Like, the media doesn't like him anyway, really. Sanchez. So they're just going to pile on. And they'll take anything that's even slightly negative and make it look worse. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not digging the situation at all. Graphic details, great. Yeah, of course it would be. Horrible. Horrible. So did, is he suspended yet, or are they, what are they doing? Uh, no, Matt, I don't have TV, so that would be, I don't, what's that on? Your lowest hit is a out of five from a stadium club blaster. That's a nice low hit, man. Oh, look at what we have here. An Aqua Ruiz to 125. Oh, yeah, Cronenworth. Okay, Chicago, yeah. I always forget about Cronenworth because it seems like he's been around for about three years now. He should have had rookies last year, right? And he didn't, so I always forget about Cronenworth. But, yeah, I love him. I love Cronenworth. I wish he was on my fantasy teams. Yeah, I heard about that. They applied for a restraining order. <laughs> That's all show. Like they need it. Bauer doesn't want to be anywhere near her ever again. I guarantee you that. Like they need a restraining order. That's all. That's all show. Look at this one. Wander. He's definitely regretting his actions right now, but like I said, what a fool for even being close to that situation. Dude, the second some the second some lady said something like if I was still a single man which is why he shouldn't be single he should have like three kids by now that's a different story but he's you know it's a different story dude I would have been so I would have just block 
immediately. Like, oh my God, can you believe what this chick wants? Boom. What a, I, it's just a head shaker all around. Jared Kelly first, not bad. Chrome. Oh, yeah. Well, Cronenworth is... He's going to be the kind of guy that just puts up, like, five... Around five war all the time, I feel like. He's going to be probably one of the most underrated players in the game for a while because he's surrounded by so many superstars. He's, he's going to be overlooked, and that's good for him. Yeah, Jordan says, insta-block. Yeah, exactly. How many cards do I hold in my PC? Too many. The word thousands of cards gets thrown around awfully loosely. Look at this, a blaze. I don't know, hundreds of thousands? Hundreds of thousands of cards? <sighs> Too many. I just, like, I glance over and I go, oh, man, I got to do something with all those cards. I haven't sold any, like, I... I haven't listed any cards for a while. I need to get on top of that. But I won't. Because I don't have any time to. Unless I take like a week off of breaks. Which isn't going to happen. Blaze! So who got that Blaze? Who's got the Boston? Jack got the Blaze. Nice, Jack. Someone tried telling me in a comment that I shouldn't get excited about Blaze because he's a one-dimensional player. I'm like, I can get excited about whoever I want. You can't tell me who to get excited about. Who do you think you are telling me who to get excited about? What kind of a person has to have that much control? I have to control everything. Like, what kind of a person is like, you don't get excited about player X. Like, I'll do whatever I want. All right. Series two, let's do it. I just like him. I like his name. I don't have to like, I mean, I, you guys know, I, I've been talking about Blaze for a while now. I, he's my guy. I, I don't always go for, like, the top, top guy. Austin Martin is not my guy. I like him, and I'm excited to get his cards, but he's not my guy. I like the Blue Jays. He's not my guy. Blaze is my guy. I bought a Blaze first auto. I like him. I don't care what, like, like... You think you're telling me something I don't know? Like, he's... He's just a power press bank. He doesn't have any blood. I know all about him. I know all about him, man. Sorry, I got a phone call come, that come in, and I have it set to do not disturb. How does that work? Airplane mode, do not disturb. Here comes a phone call from potential spam. It literally said potential spam on the caller ID, and it let it through. I, I don't know, just, Ken, it's not about that even. It's about someone just having to control what you do and think and feel and say. That's what it's about. It's not even about the player. It's about whoever said it has a, a need, an absolute need to control everything. He'll probably run for Congress. Dun, dun, dun. We're not talking about politics. We're not. Mm, come on, baby. Let's get some good gold action here. We haven't gotten like a bank. So we did get, we got the gold foil uh, Kirilov. Not too long ago during the ultra high roller break. But I'm looking for a goldish numbered, a nice Key Brian goldish. 
That's the goal. Wit says, my little bro pulled a Blaze Chrome and Camo out of the same set. Wow. No joke. Wow. That's a, that's a nice pack. I haven't opened any of those yet. I want to get some, though. I, you, they're just so affordable. Bowman is so affordable now. You guys are probably, we're all probably going to look back. Who knows when? Maybe a year, maybe two years. Who knows when? But we're going to look back and we're going to be like, can you believe we didn't? Why didn't we just buy up like as much Bowman for that price as we could? Someone's going to come out of there. Whether it's Blaze or Martin or any of those other guys or somebody that we don't even think of right now. Just keep your eyes on the prize. Like, keep checking the prices of that Bowman stuff every day and keep, because if, if when you start seeing it tick up, that probably means someone in the minors is doing good. And then you can go from there and be like, why is this going up? That's pretty cool. Significant statistics, the Lubob. I like that card. Headbert, I know. Headbert's my new guy, too. So many people were like, dude, you got the Headbert. I know. I, I'm on, I'm on Team Headbert now. That's it. You got a lot of five Blaze camels for 25 bucks. Wow. I like the looks of the camos this year better than last year as well. What do you guys think? Oh, here's a Cronenworth. There we go. I love that card. Yes, the cup is right on his behind. I know. Why did they put it right on his behind? Instead of, I don't know, maybe up in that corner? Maybe... I mean, it's a little crowded down there and down there and up there. So really the only place to put it would have been right there. And then you have all four quadrants covered. Am I gonna do production numbers on Bowman? I don't know, man. I just am, time is of the essence, and I don't have a lot of it. We got a Jeter SP. If I do that, then I gotta slow down on the brakes. And I don't like we're getting so many slammers that I don't want to. I want to be able to satisfy everybody's desires, but I know that's not possible. But I still want to try. And everybody wants to get in on a break, you know. So it's like I gotta just keep doing it. Eventually. You know, I'll take a day off here or there, but. Also, I, I don't want to get burnt out, which is a possibility. It's it's definitely something that happens to streamers and stuff all the time. So I don't want to get burnt out, but if I if I do it like if I don't if I don't do a break on the weekends, like how we've been doing it, do a break on Friday, then I have the whole weekend to sort it out. It gives me a little bit of sort of revive time, even though all I do is I just sort it out slower. So I'll do like a little bit here, a little bit there. So it's not really like a day off, complete day off. I don't know. Ian Anderson. Well, well, uh, Venus, it cost him everything. Know what I'm saying? The love of money is the root of all evil. You know what I mean? You love it so much, you just got to have more and more and more. You'll just sacrifice everything, everything you have. Everyone that loves you, everything, everything you love. Doesn't matter. You love money more. And that's, you get what you reap what you sow, man. Miguel.
Hoffbrow, man. Lapeer, brother. You're Lapeer, brother? Tucker. Pretty sure. Do you guys remember last time I said Luis Garcia was going to set a. Uh, a, a career high in strikeouts against the Tigers. Like, he had a great game, but it wasn't a career high in strikeouts. Maybe tonight's that night. No love for the Rangers in this break. Well, I remember seeing something. Nothing on the stand yet. But in, we got we got some more, lots more hits coming up. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Find any sketch cards? Not yet, no. Not yet. Card deal, what's happening? Wit says a couple days ago, I looked through my big box of all your base cards and found a 2017 update bow SP. Nice. That's always awesome doing that looking through your base cards and finding some cool stuff like 2019 update oh sweet look at this we got a vent uh flip stop reverse what do they call this again vintage stock vintage stock eric hosmer yeah it's got it's got that rough feeling to it 80 out of 99 what's up ryan Luis is on your fantasy team. Dude, he was on my team too. I just, I waved him. I waved him right when it happened. I couldn't afford to have him on my on my bench the whole season. It, but he's still sitting there, so maybe I could still pick him up at some point. Yeah, I think someone said they got the, didn't someone say they got the Mantle SSP earlier today in the stream? Oh, you're talking about Luis Garcia, probably, not Luis Robert, eh? Late night breaks? That must be. How good is Andy Young from the Diamondbacks? Don't know. It's the Diamondbacks, and they're a horrible team. All right. Well, guys, we got a black here. Is this going to be a black auto? Is this going to be our hit? That'd be huge. Oh, no, it's not. Tricked us. That's a facsimile auto. Glass now, you dirty dog. You dirty dog. Well, halfway point, what do you say we hit up this silver pack? Jack, I know, isn't that? Isn't it great? Coffee for the day. Gotta drink, gotta drink your coffee black. None of that flavoring in it. Look at this, we got a thickie in here. Not too long ago, I used to put creamer in my coffee like a hobo, like a hobo would. And, but probably for like the last two, three years, straight black coffee for me. That's how men, that's how men drink their coffee. There's the other Luis Garcia. Here we go. Nationals. Soto. Blue Soto. To 150. Going to Thomas. Bill Cosby's a free man. You're the second person to say something about that. Is he? Well, he didn't serve that much time, did he? Gotta get a pudding pop. I can't do a Bill Cosby. I wish I could. If you just say pudding pop, kind of everybody gets it. Bill. Bill Cosby, the face of rape. What if all that was 
What if all that was nonsense too? There's just too much evidence there. I mean, we, we don't even have to say allegedly in that case because it was proven in a court of law. So I guess as far as facts, facts go, I guess that's a fact. But there's a difference between a fact and the truth. Pete Alonzo, right? See, that's something you may or may not have ever thought of. A fact and the truth are two different things. A fact might not necessarily be true. There's all kinds of things that people say are facts that I'm like, I don't believe that. As a matter of fact, I think that that's a fallacy. Circular, it's a circular truth. Or it's a circular fact, relying on itself to prove itself. How could that be the truth? But there's a lot of things like that. <laughs> if you see a blurry Bill Cosby head for the hills. <laughs> oh no, what happened? What is that? And next thing you know, your pants are down and you're face down in the ditch. No recollection. Sam Huff, we got a ranger, ladies and gentlemen. The old Cosby cocktail. The old Cosby cocktail. A Cosby colada. Did anybody ever say that? That's a great, a great word. The Cosby Colada. Leon, holy smokes with the $50 super. Let's go. Hit that like button. Another great break after work and hanging with Stryker in the community. Thank you so much, man. You are, you're so awesome. Leon, hat tip. Fist bump. Appreciate you. Mm, okay, Matt. I didn't think I talked about anything political. I hate politics. Hate it. It doesn't doesn't take away from the the fact that uh, what I said is true. Here we go. Boom, Chris Bryant, goldish. Four eighty four of twenty twenty one. Ryan likes the Cosby Colada. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Whit found a 50 cent Keston here, a rookie debut 150 stamp. Wow, it's a nice card. I have a, or I had a Keston 150 stamp rookie. I actually had two of them, like the, the regular rookies. Here's a Kim. Key Brian. We want the goldish though. Let's turn to asks, why do you think stadium club rookies and autos don't get the same respect slash res resale as other releases? Well, because there can only be one. So there can only be one card at the top, right? And then everything else, it, it's like it's like a curve, you know? There's a distribution curve. There's a hierarchy of cards. And it, ha it just, it's gonna go down because supply and demand, right? There's only so many people buying cards and they're gonna, it's, it's gonna inevitably, you know, go to go like a point and there's going to be cards on the top and then it's just going to go down so 
there's they're just on one of the rungs so it's it's not gonna be and it's it's less expensive and it's thin card stock harder the harder to gem up um also this is my opinion you your brain associates a player with a certain pose and a certain rookie card and your, your mind just goes that's the card i want like that's the rookie card so it's like a flagship card let's think of one um like a classic a classic rookie i don't know that everybody's got one you know i guess you could look at tatis for example and the reason is is because like the flagship one usually matches up with the chrome one so you're just you're seeing like you're getting double images. So you go you go okay I want their Bowman first card but I can't afford that so I'm gonna next card that I want would be their Topps Chrome card. Even that's expensive I can't really afford that maybe so let's go to the series two because it's still that pose that's in everybody's head the desirable card that they want. Now when you go down it's gonna be down a few rungs when you get to the top Stadium Club. This is just my theory. I don't know if it holds any water but that's just what I think. Here we go. Is this a black? I think it's a black. I think it's a Mize. It is to 199 Casey Mize. Going to Amanda. Nice hit, Amanda. The future. That's a pretty thin little card. That's going to be a 79 point. And that's kind of, I almost want to show you an example of what I, what I mean. I can, I can go a little bit deeper into that. Let me show you something real quick. Couple of my keepers. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here is something weird, and my, just we got the Acuna. Okay, this is a classic card in your mind you're like that's the Acuna rookie because it's also so close to the bat down you know it's essentially it's almost the same pose the back's just back a little bit so in your head you're like that's the Acuna rookie that's the card I want but then you go so 2018 was kind of a weird year it's like okay I want the chrome version of that well you don't actually get the chrome version it's two different cards so you got the chrome update this is the chrome update photo and this is the regular tops chrome photo and they're all different so that's why like acuna rookies are kind of hard to pinpoint like for tatis for example you've got you've got your horizontal card and then like the chrome is like the same thing same with the like the vlad you know, you've got your no number Vlad and then the Chrome version is the same pose. So you get those poses stuck in your mind and you're like, I, that's the one I want. But with the Acunas, like with the 2018 stuff, they have different poses. So all the time people are asking me like, what one is the one to get? Like what's better, the Chrome update or the regular Chrome one? It's like, I, they're pretty close to the same price, especially with Otani. Otani's got all those different cards he's got series two he's got update he's got chrome update he's got regular chrome the otani ones are hard to pick out like what one is the one there's just a bunch of them so they, they all they fight each other and like bring the value of each other down a little bit carpenter rainbow foil we're almost to 100 likes guys we got 92 likes Help me out. Help me out if you will. Also, I forgot to drop the links again. Gotta drop the links. How about this? If you want to become a slammer, if you want to support the channel, if you like what you see, you like what I do, consider becoming a slammer. And you also get email notifications when I post a break and you can get in on them. It's about the only way to get in on them because they sell out really fast. 
So that's pinned to the top. And then here we go. We're streaming live on Facebook right now, supposedly. I mean, I see my face right there, so I think it's live. And also on Twitch. So pick your poison. Maybe open up three tabs and watch three breaks simultaneously of the exact same thing. Just make sure you mute the other ones or else you're going to trip out a little bit. Three packs left. Who will be the... Oh, we're almost at 100 likes. Look at that. Spectacular. You guys are the best. The best. Tomorrow, we're going to do the treasure chest. I'm going to draw for the treasure chest tomorrow. So make sure you're here tomorrow. You can see it live. Amanda got a one of one Mize. Whoa. Oh, look at this. We got a Father's Day. Jose Altuve. And a Corey Lechner sponsor. Corey, you are a legend. Thank you, my man. A member for 13 months in a row. Woo! Can I get a Corey spammed up in the chat? Give a shout out to my man. Let him know he's appreciated. Man, this is, I think this is the first one we've got or that I've seen. That looks really nice. Gotta admit, the baby blue, 36 out of 50. Yes, it's Altuve, I get it. But man, does that look good. It's a beauty. And there's a Jazz. Here we go. Encarnacion, rainbow foil. That's it. We're looking at a FOTL select. I want to hit a one one out of here. I'm going to keep Selig out of the equation. We're just going to put Clayton Claus. Bring the luck, baby. Corey, Corey, Corey. You think I should open Pokemon? If I opened Pokemon, I'd just be like, uh, uh, what is this? I don't know. I don't understand how this works. I don't know anything about Pokemon. Although Stash came out with a video. I don't know if you're still watching Stash, but I got to give you a shout out for that video because that was fun. That was a fun video. He took his time editing it, making it fun. He sped it up a little bit and like didn't have any uh, any vocal, any voice or anything. But it was just, it was funny. Cause I, he said it was, I think it was his first, it was either his first opening or his first video recording an opening of it or something, but I liked it. And I don't know anything about Pokemon, and I still liked it. My friends open Pokemon stuff, and they keep saying the same thing. Let's turn two with a $2 super chat. $2 from Let's Turn Two, ha ha! Thanks for the feedback. Thank you, my friend, appreciate that super chat. Soto heating up, dude, Soto is, he's, there's no problems. It's not like he's even doing that, but it's, it's not even that bad. He'll be just fine. Here we go. Hit number one. Boom. Esteban Floreal. A little prism action. 169 out of 250. Let's go. Let's 
sold trio base gem Pokemon. I don't even know what that means, Taylor. Sorry. Sorry, I have no clue. I, just, I stick to baseball cards for the most part. Every once in a while we dabble with something else because I like, you know, like spread my wings a little bit every now and then. Especially basketball. Like, I do like basketball cards to an extent. Like, next year, because the Pistons have the number one pick, we're going to be dabbling in basketball cards a little bit here and there. I know you guys are all baseball. Even if you guys don't want to, I'm going to be opening some basketball cards. Got to get me some Cade. Dalton Varsho. That one is numbered to 199. Laser Ramon, unnumbered. Madrigal rookie. Calling a Bobby Witt Jr. auto, one of one. I don't even think he's in here, John. That would be something crazy. We got an FOTL hit here, and we need to get some rookie FOTL hits. It's an Aquino. Aquino to 13. I have, like, they better have FOTL rookie hits because I haven't even seen any, I don't think. I wonder if these are even going to fit in this top loader. Yes. Oh, it's because it's a BCW. Guys, BCW, standard top loaders, superior to Ultra Pro. Bow and boom. No, let's turn two. I'm on board, man. Like, the base cards are nothing that I like. The base cards are nothing. They're just they're too, a little too dark. But the parallels are fire. That's the thing. The parallels are sharp. Like, look at this, man. That pops. That thing pops. That's an awesome card. And that's numbered to 149, Javier. going to set him, him to the side for now. Mm. Golf snobby. I am PSA snobby. So I don't think I'm going to dabble in the CSG, my friend. We have a hit. Behind this beautiful prism bow is a Garrett Crochet black. Black napkin. Black. Black. Blapkin. A blapkin. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. They can't all be winners. But Garrett Crochet is the man. He's, he's pretty good. I bet you the cards are nice looking, though. We got a Zebra. Okay, well, this is good to know that you can get the Zebras out of the FOTL. Come on, big money. Big card, big card. Salvi Perez. Nice looking card though. And those are those are not numbered, but very desirable. Marcus Bustle Art. Sup striker. Look out for a package in your P.O. box. I'm sending you a 101 custom card. Search Fuss Art on eBay if you want to check out the other ones. I do. I do. I like your artwork. I would like to uh, definitely get some. I'm gonna have to get in touch with you. Check out Marcus's channel, guys. He does some cool stuff. A very talented individual. Bobby Prism. A lot of artists in my family, so I definitely respect the art. Here we go. FOTL hit. Thanks for that super chat. 
appreciate that. And I will be looking out for that in the mail. Ooh, Tatis. Look at that beauty. 10 of 18. Wow. Look at that thing. Something thick. This might be our FOTL hit here. Something schmancy. See what we got. Usually these really thick ones are RPAs. Come on, baby. B -b -b baby. Travis Blankenhorn. That's a thicky. 55 of 99. But that is not our, our FOTL hit. We've gotten one, two, three. So we got one more coming. And that'll be a good one. That'll be a big one. This is a pretty nice card, though. I like the looks of it. Just a little swat up. One sixty-eight, no big deal. Oh, we got one more box of Stadium Club. I'm, I'm lollygagging a lot tonight. But that's okay. You like cars? Me? Um, as much as the next guy, I guess. I'm not like a car guy. Not that I don't like cars. I just, I don't know like a lot about them. Kim to 99. I prefer practicality in my car. One that can get me from point A to point B efficiently. That's a nice little Kim rookie there to 99. Whoa. I prefer driving tractors up and down the road. I mean, I got a pretty sweet ride right now. 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. And I get stopped almost every day by somebody telling me how sweet it is. I don't, I don't care about having a sweet car. I just want something that I can get from here to there. And I don't drive that much at all. But there's always an old man it's the same every time. It's like a 70-year-old man. Dude, this story I'm telling you over and over and over it happens to me. 70-year-old man, I'm either loading or unloading my car, and they'll just stop and stare. And I'm like, can I help you? <laughs> what do you say when there's someone just like either standing behind or in front of your car, just like look, like eyeball effing it, like just looking it up and down? What do you say? I just go, can I help you? I don't know what to say. Hey, what's up, man? And every time it's the same thing. New Bronco, eh? It's like, yeah, man. Do you like it? Every time, same thing. Like, yeah, I love it. It's awesome. You know, I had a Bronco back and then the story comes. Dude, I'm telling you, every time it's the same thing. I had a Bronco back in the day and man, that thing lasted me like 30 years. It's a tank can fit so much stuff in it, take it to the beach, same story. Just like, yeah, bet, bet you can. I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, yes, yeah, cool, man. I... Thomas, you had an 88 Bronco. You would probably be one of those dudes then that they're just like, I had a Bronco. How do you like it? Here we go. I mean, it's kind of fun talking to somebody you don't know and just something you have something in common with, I guess. All right, guys. 
Here we go. This is going to be the FOTL hit, I believe. <laughs> yeah, Derek. Those are, your <laughs> Those are your skis? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Mmm, uh, big gulps. Boom. Ryan Weathers with the RPA. Look at that Padres patch up there. Three colors. Beautiful. 18 of 20. Going to Thomas. What? No way. We landed on the moon. That's what it feels like. Big gulps, eh? Well, all right. I don't know what to say. I just make a little small talk and then, well, guy, got to get going. Time is money. Would you mind uh, pulling the car back? The last time it was at Little Caesars and I had a pizza in my hand coming out of the store and there was a big truck parked behind mine. Like, it's a one... I don't know how to describe it, but you pull into the Little Caesars parking lot and there's a road directly behind it. So you have to back out onto this little side street. Well, well, the old man, here, it's just like this. This is the road and this was my car and this is the old man. He just pulled up right behind my, my Bronco and he's just leaning out the window like smoking a cigarette. I'm like, hey, guy, how are you? Real Muto to 13. Yeah, like I'm just trying to get a pizza. You know, got my kid in the car right here. You're not gonna rob me, are you? Nope, just gonna tell you a story about how I owned a Bronco for 30 years. Two autographs coming right up. Mm-hmm. That's right, Ken. I know I should say it sucks and just see how the conversation changes. I should be like, dude, this thing sucks. I'd take it back right now if I could. And see what happens. And then just be like. I gotcha. It's the best thing ever. Six dough. What a pretty face he has. Yeah, I'm from Michigan, Eric. Born and raised. Probably die here. Hopefully in my sleep, surrounded by many, many grandchildren. Maybe even some great-grandchildren. Although that's unlikely. We started kind of late. Eloy. No. Buckeyes need not apply. Just kidding. I don't I don't play that game. Oh, nice. Is this the first Key Brian? Is that it? Why does that one look different? No, that's a regular one. That might be the first one I've seen. Followed up. Ooh, there's a good hit. The ja the Red Jazz. Okay. Get a nice little Red red Jazz rookie. I like that. As a matter of fact, 
Oh, we do not have enough room on the stage, but I am gonna quickly top load that because that's a fragile card and I like it. So I'll set it to the side so we make sure we remember it. Minnesota, eh? Fargo, what a great show. The movie was, I mean, the series and the movie, both good. Bob Gibson. Is that supposed to be black and white or is that a black and white? No, it can't be. It's gotta be uh, meant to be black and white. Yeah, that Key Bryant is an awesome photo. I like it a lot. <laughs> Hashtag tribalism. Oh, it, just, it goes all the way down to like your neighbor. You live on the left side of the road. The north side of the road. I live on the south side. You're a piece of... It's so funny. Boom. It's like everything else is identical between you and your neighbor, except he lives on one side and you live on the other, and you just don't trust him. I don't trust him. He's a north sider. It's like he's literally your exact demographic. Everything. Same views, same values, same beliefs. He's a North Sider. There's a Garrett Crochet, red. Went to the same high school, grew up down the road from each other. Your wife and his wife or friends both have three kids. Parents are the same age. Both speak fluent Spanish. Favorite teams, all the same. Favorite players, all the same. But he's a North Sider. Lives like 50 feet from you. Here we go, a Chrome Tyler Stevenson. Rookie and a Bryce VR. <laughs> he bought a wood chipper because of that movie. Uh oh, a base of Lanch. We got a base of Lanch. Can't have that. That actor, that actor that was, uh, he's been in a bunch, he's been the bad guy in a bunch of movies, a bunch of like 80s and 90s movies. He's a good actor, I like him. So just straight faced about everything. Just like dead eyed, straight faced. Whoa, what is this? Did we get, oh, it's a refractor, a chrome refractor. I thought that was a little different. These are probably pretty tough pulls. Let's see. The base chrome refractor, one out of 64. So that is a pretty tough pull. That's McCutcheon. It's going to Christopher K. Those could even be numbered. Like they could do us a solid and number those cards, but that's okay. Oh, there's a good one. Too bad the bottom's a little scuffed up. That that might be able, you might be able to smooth that bottom out. It's a little frayed. But a Dylan Carlson rookie red. That's not bad, man. These cards can hold some value if you can jam them up. Rookie reds. I'm going to set that with that jazz, that red jazz over here. I don't know, these old men, they, they always say that they had a Bronco for like just decades. Lasted them forever. Superstar duos, Bellinger and Betts. Bought it brand new. First year they had them. 
finally broke down last year. 400,000 miles. All right, old man. Whatever you say. Max Scherzer, red. It's still sitting in my yard just in case I need the parts. Okay, old man. I sure am, Ken. Peter Stormare. Swedish. I was trying to figure out what ethnicity he was. Obviously, he's Swedish. I thought maybe Russian. Swedish, though. Here's our auto. Kyle Finnegan. Would you look at that? Lots of questionable autos out of this stadium club. I don't think we've gotten one banger yet. Of course, we've only opened. This is the fourth box. Thomas. Heading to Thomas. Thomas, a known fan of Kyle Finnegan. Right? Always talking about Kyle Finnegan. I'm like, Thomas, we know. Relax. Thomas wants to get a Bronco now. Good luck. It's a nice ride, man. All that newfangled technology, though, I don't know. I finally am getting used to it. Dansby, black, tongue out, just hit a walk-off. That's the look of a man who just hit a walk-off. Like a walk-off single, probably. Although he looks like he's rounding second. Did Dansby just hit a... Or did someone else hit it, and he, now he's just showing his appreciation? I want to know the story behind this picture. Doggone it. What's the story behind this? Was the ice cream man flagging him down? He's like, I could really use some Superman ice cream. He's just like, ah. Dansby, there's a game going on. Oh, crap. Stanton. Speaking of walk-offs, I mean, probably not a walk-off. Definitely a home run, though. You don't toss a bat like that unless it's a home run. Thomas says, look, if I'm not going to be the biggest Kyle Finnegan fan, then I'm not living my life right. That's what I'm talking about. Should I make a song about Kyle Finnegan? Brandon Crawford, how he's, what would be funny? I mean, I don't even know anything about him. Hmm, pretty decent pitcher. Wait a second. Finnegan put up zeros in 21 of his 25 appearances for Washington in 2020, with 18 of those lasting at least an inning. His shortest and most profitable outing came on August 22nd when he earned his initial MLB win after fanning the lone Miami batter he faced. I don't know about that story. It's not a very impressive story. Faced one guy, got him out, got a win. Good for you. That's why we don't value wins. Is that the moral of the story? Wins don't mean anything. That's what I gathered. Kyle Finnegan can pull one off, then the wins don't mean anything. 
Oh, baby, look at this. Casey Mize, 20 of 25. We finally got a nice auto out of here. Wow. The number one overall pick, Casey Mize. Going to Amanda. Congratulations, Amanda. Good Lord. 20 out of 25. Dude, that card looks sharp, too. I don't want to say that that looks like a gem because who really knows? But as far as Stadium Club goes, it looks awfully, awfully nice. 20 of 25. By far the best auto we've gotten. Dude, that is gnarly. I like that a lot. Congratulations. Dude, how crazy would that be if like you could get the Jeter like that too with the same little, oh yeah. All right. Whatever happened to Joe Adele, I don't know. I think they're just playing games with him, manipulating his contract. Okay. The Kirloff pose is, I mean, is that a Jeff Becker 101? Sure looks like it. What if it was? Jeff, you've been holding out on us. That's a sweet card. Just keep, I keep wanting to see an image variation. I don't think we've seen one yet. I know, me too, Lynn. Nostalgia. I'm about to put that on a stand. I like it so much, even though it's just a base rookie. All right. We're about we're about there, guys. This one, this was a long one, but a fun one. I had a great time. Talking about all sorts of stuff. Sam Huff, rookie. Wait a second. No, no. I mean, they all look like photo variations because they're so sweet. Olsen, red. Last pack. And the red Schwarber. You think Adele will be traded, or they will bring him up after the deadline when they unload their vets? Huh. I don't know, man. I don't know what to think. I don't think they're going to trade him. Guy like that, prospect like that, you don't trade unless. I mean, wow. Like, okay, I, th I the only way I could see them trading him would be if they're like doing really well, and they're one piece away. They just maybe maybe one or two pieces away and they they think they can get there this year and they're going to do it for trout right they'll they'll like okay we need an ace and the only way we can get it like let's say there's an ace on the market or something like let's say who, who would it even be like for some reason the yankees are like we got to get out of this coal contract or something i don't even know if coal's good anymore or whatever but you know something like that then they would trade them but other than that it's not like they're one piece away i think they're about they're they're like t like two aces away, and then we'll talk kind of kind of thing. But all right, guys, the mice, twenty of twenty five. We got the Travis Blankenhorn to ninety nine. Kim, nice low number, ninety nine, eh, lowish number. The green, look at that one. I dig that. Ryan Weathers RPA. 18 of 20. Chunky. Couple of blues. Aquino, Real Muto. Floreal, Prism. That was numbered to 250. Finally got a Father's Day. It's an Altuve. Number to 50. And we got a black Casey Mize relic. So it's a Casey Mize Day. It's a Detroit Tigers Day. 
Tatis, Ryan Jeffers, both of these numbered to 18. We got a Zebra, Perez, a numbered Juan Soto to 150. Got a Crochet, a Blue Trey Turner, Tyler O'Neill, the White Acuna, digging that one to 50. One out of 50. Ruiz to 125, Sky Blue. We even ended up with a Blaze out of our Lone Blaster. And look at this, a Vintage Stock Hosmer. A Series 2 box was pretty banging. I'm, I'm loving the amount of parallels you get out of this Series 2. It's so underrated. Derek Jeter SP, Ali Sanchez. Ryan Jeffers, another Ruiz. Daz Cameron and Key Brian Hayes. Big ol' swatch. But let's not forget about this the members of the community that didn't make the stage. This beautiful Kirilov. Kyle Finnegan, I guess. I guess he didn't make the stage. <laughs> Dylan Carlson. These are two bangers. We got the Jazz and the Carlson both red. Digging them. Did, 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 digging them. Tomorrow, we're going to have a real nice break. 2019 Bowman. 2019 Series 2 and more. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all later.